And if real democracy is about voting. A rally in support of marginalized communities. We are no longer on the periphery. Brings Muhammad Abdul Rahman to Broad Street. He's pushing for voting and health care access on the first day of Virginia's General Assembly. There are some vestiges. The, uh, the, the old ways didn't die easily. This political rally looks like they normally would in a state capitol, but the context of last week's riot in D.C. still present. That jerked a, cheer, a tear out of me. Local authorities say protections are in place after credible threats of violence against capital cities. Capitol Square in downtown Richmond closes Thursday because of potential for civil unrest, officials say. Beyond the physical changes, they have canceled Lobby Day, which was scheduled for Monday. In a normal year, there'd be hundreds, if not thousands, of people on these grounds. We understand that people can protest. If they protest, they need to do it peacefully. Uh, if they come here looking for trouble, uh, Richmond's going to be prepared. The state capitol, there's nothing. I mean, none of us are there. We're meeting here. With the Virginia Senate meeting at the Science Museum and House meeting remotely, lawmakers we spoke with Wednesday expressed confidence in their security. We're going to have lively but respectful debate, and we hope that we're going to model the conversation and politics that we want to see across the rest of the country. These are moments of courage. Abdul Rahman is appalled by last week's mob attack, but says now is the time to show the world how democracy should work. I encourage all Richmonders, all Virginians to be the biggest American that they can be right now. And we're the land of the free and the home of the brave. So be brave. Tonight at 6, hear why the senators say there's a prime example that happened just last year as to why they feel safe despite the threats. Working for the state capitol, Jake Burns, CBS 6 News.